joined here uh, now by Frederick Van Essen, who's the SVP of strategy for Inmarsat Global. Uh, and Inmarsat has been making lots of news lately, lots of development around the European Aviation Network. Frederick, can you just quickly, uh, for the benefit of our audience, explain what the European Aviation Network is and show us the sort of live setup that you've got here at the stand? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I will. I'll, I'll, try, <laughs> I'll try to attempt to, to explain in simple, simple words. Now, the European Aviation Network is something that's brand new. We just completed it in February, and it's actually uh, unique in the world. It's combining satellite communication with uh, a ground-based uh, system, uh, and the two work together as an integrated system. And it is actually unique for European airspace, because it will allow us to put very small antennas um, on basically every plane, so also the smaller ones that are typically used in Europe. Um, and it will allow these, these planes to have really good in-flight internet, um, even if they're maneuvering through the dense European airspace. Um, and what we've done here is a, a setup, a live demonstration of how the system works. Okay, so let's walk us through uh, the different points here. I'll just move out of the way and you can uh, <laughs> talk to us over here. Okay, good. So if we, if we start here, um, uh, you see the satellite up there, it's a model. Um, uh, that's part of the system. Uh, the other part of the system is on the ground. Um, and that starts with uh, the network component on the ground, which you typically would have in a cell tower that you have on the ground. We actually have about 300 of these cell towers in Europe, um, and you would have network components there, hooked up to a cell tower that then has a transmitting uh, device here. It's, uh, it's turning it into the uh, frequency that's being transmitted on, with antennas on the cell tower. These are cell towers, um, like the cell towers you know from, from on the ground, uh, uh, mobile communications. Um, three of them are in each uh, cell tower. They cover the different sectors around the, the tower and they broadcast to the aircraft that are flying at like 10 kilometers uh, altitude uh, around it. Um, it's covering uh, a lot of Europe um, and um, on the aircraft you just need a few tiny antennas. Um, there is a satellite antenna which goes on the top of the aircraft and then we have two little antennas on the bottom that talk to the ground component of the, of the network. And actually this antenna that you see here down, uh, down here on the tower is actually transmitting live right now. And it's transmitting um, to this uh, antenna that you see here uh, on, on the board. Um, on the aircraft you need to install a few black boxes to make this work. Um, these are the boxes shown here and they're hooked up to the antennas and actually those boxes make the, uh, make the, the, the choice what network uh, part they use. So either the satellite part or the, or the ground part as the aircraft maneuvers through the airspace. And what we can see here is the uh, live throughput of the uh, system and we're typically seeing uh, throughputs now here of uh, around 100 megabits per second download and 30 uh, megabits per second upload. And that is actually pretty amazing. Those are speeds that uh, nobody else in the world uh, typically gets to an aircraft right now. And that's enabling a lot of new business for the airlines. So European Aviation Network, the, the network is live, right? The network is live. It has been completed in, uh, in, in January. Mm -hmm. um, and we've actually demonstrated a live uh, set up uh, at Mobile World Congress mm -hmm. with an interview uh, from uh, a test aircraft flying over Europe talking to, uh, to the ground and it's really amazing. It has very low latency and very smooth uh, communications. So as a passenger this is like you, you, you would really have at home. And we have a launch customer with quite a lot of aircraft that is sort of gearing up to begin implementing this service on board for our passengers to use. Absolutely. The, uh, the onboard equipment is being installed right now and mm -hmm. uh, the launch customer is, is gearing up to, to launch this uh, in a matter of uh, uh, months, we hope. Okay, and it's all very exciting, but not everybody's excited about uh, the European Aviation Network. I understand there has been um, a couple hurdles that you guys are working to get through right now. Can you talk about that a little bit? Well, actually, we're very much on track with the rollout of, uh, of the whole network and right. the implementation. Um, Clearly, uh, this is uh, a big step forward for Europe. It's, it's been a lot of European companies actually coming together and, and, and making this, this work. Um, and what we see is that competition um, is, is, is frightened by, by this new technology. It's innovative, it, they can't match it, um, and they're trying uh, their best to, to maybe slow it down, um, which is their, their right. This is a competitive world. We think we have a great offer here for, for Europe. Okay, good. Well, good luck with that. I imagine uh, everything will be just fine and uh, we'll be excited to try it out myself one of these days. We're in the home stretch and I really hope you can enjoy it uh, quickly. Thank you so much, Frederick. Okay, my pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>